on was Ronald Reagan gave a speech, a time for choosing speech in 1964, and he said, you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. What can Americans learn from Ronald Reagan? What are your, what are your uh, thoughts on that at this moment in time? Yes, he's... That's right. He said that, and he said, now, also, he said, now, let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace, and you can have it in the next second. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this. But every lesson in history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement. And this is a specter our well-meaning Christian liberal friends, our, our be priests, bishops, and pastors refuse to face. That their policy of accommodation is appeasement. And it gives us no choice between peace and war, only between fight and surrender. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we will have to face the final demand, the final ultimatum. And what then? When Satan has told the people of this world, he knows what our answer is going to be. He has told them that we're retreating under the pressure of his cold war, and someday when the time is right to deliver his final ultimatum, our surrender will be voluntary because you see by then we will have been so weakened from within, spiritually, morally, economically. He believes this because from our side he's heard voices pleading for peace at any price, or better red than dead, or as one commentator put it, he'd rather live on his knees than die on his feet. And therein lies the road to war. because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know it and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots at Concord Ridge have refused to fire the shot heard around the world? The martyrs of history were not fools and our beloved dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis did not die in vain. Where then lies the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all, that you and I have the courage to tell our enemies there is a price we will not pay, there is a point beyond wow. which evil must yeah. not advance. In the words of Jim, Reagan, evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. Jim Caviezel.